This weekend marks the transition from meteorological spring into meteorological summer. But will the weather be changing? We've certainly seen some big changes over recent times. For most of spring, the jet stream has been up here, way to the north of the UK. And as a result, it's been the sunniest spring on record. But in recent days, we've seen a shift. The jet stream has now moved further south. And of course, the jet stream steers low pressure systems. And that's what we've seen through this week, bringing further spells of rain. And this one will bring rain to some parts of the UK this weekend. Tucked into this area of low pressure, or just ahead of it, some really quite warm and humid air. Uh, so it will be a, quite a, a mild start to Saturday. Temperatures beginning the day in double figures. Some places may even start in the teens. It'll feel really quite warm and humid for many throughout the day. You can see the winds here swirling around that area of low pressure, and the weather fronts from it will be providing outbreaks of rain. Showery bands of rain crossing through Wales for a time. Could be quite a wet start in southwest Scotland, and then we'll see. A zone of showery rain crossing through Northern Ireland, a wet spell through the middle of the day in Western Scotland in particular. And with the warmth and humidity, just the likelihood of a few showers breaking out over Eastern Scotland and North East England, which could be on the heavy side. But I suspect for much of the day, for a good chunk of England and Wales, particularly the Midlands, Southern England and East Anglia, it'll be dry, it'll be fine. And so just fairly light to moderate breezes here. But in the west, there will be quite a keen wind blowing, particularly along the coast. And that will eventually introduce something of a fresher feel. Temperatures in western areas close to average, getting into the high teens, perhaps with a little bit of sunshine. But for many, it'll feel quite warm and humid through the day, certainly across England and Wales, and especially in these eastern areas where we could easily get to 25, perhaps even 26 maybe even 27 Celsius in the afternoon sunshine. That is quite a bit above the mid-month average for the time of year, whereas in the West, as I say, those temperatures will be much closer to the average. And we are going to see those temperatures coming down through the weekend. That low pressure system that's approaching and this cold front responsible for that. It's a cold front, so it introduces cooler, fresher air as it crosses the country during Saturday evening and clearing that warm and humid air away from East Anglia in the southeast by first thing on Sunday morning. So a fresher feel for all on Sunday. Still a fair few showers, still most of them closest to the low across northern and western parts. Could be quite a wet start for southern Scotland, northern England, some heavy bursts of rain in here, but maybe chugging through on the breeze. Showers coming and going through the day in western Scotland, northern Ireland, a sprinkling perhaps for the Midlands, Wales, South West England during the afternoon, but a decent chance again here that most of the day will be dry. And the same goes for East Anglia and the South East. Again, it's looking largely dry here on Sunday afternoon, but you will notice that fresher feel. It won't be as humid. Temperatures, uh, well, still high teens, perhaps up to 20 Celsius with some sunshine across the uh, southeastern corner. But compare those temperatures with Saturday's temperatures, that's what this map is uh, showing. Uh, the temperature, 24 hours comparison, Sunday afternoon to Saturday afternoon. You can see we're quite a bit lower across the central and eastern parts, three to six degrees lower generally. So it will feel fresher. There uh, won't be as much humidity around on Sunday afternoon. Plenty going on though with the weather. Do keep up to date, uh, particularly as we head into next week. You want to do that by following us on social media. Or if you're watching this on YouTube, do hit subscribe.